My friends, it has been a long and beautiful journey that you and I have taken into the world of gimmicky guitar gadgets. But alas, every journey must come to an end. There's only so far that one can go down this rabbit hole. And so today, I'm concluding this series with a countdown of the five best gimmicky guitar gadgets, and I'm gonna kick some hard rock and jams with each one of them. But you know, I just realized that a bottom five worst gimmicky guitar gadgets might be a pretty fun video, so Today's video might actually be the second last installment. Before we get into it though, a quick word from the sponsor of today's video, Daddario, who are just about to begin pre-orders for their new Expand pedal board. I've worked with these guys for years, their strings are the only ones that I use, so when I learned that they were gonna be making a pedal board, I knew it was gonna be a great product. And lo and behold, I was right. The Expand is unlike any other pedal board. It has the ability to expand and retract to adjust to your needs. They come in two different sizes so that you can have a single row of pedals or two. And when you need to add a couple pedals to the old board, check it out. There are also tour bags available separately to keep your sweet, sweet stomp boxes safe, as well as whatever other things you may be taking with you out on the road. Retailers will be taking pre-orders starting in December and it'll be available globally starting in January. To learn more and be the first to hear about when it's available, click the link in the description. Anyways, let's get to it. So when I was going through my treasure trove of gadgets, figuring out what is the best of the best, it got me thinking about what a good gimmicky guitar gadget means to me. Here's my criteria. First of all, it's gotta be well built and do what it's meant to do. This should be obvious, but there are a painful number of gadgets that I own that don't fulfill this criteria. Second of all, it should provide me with a unique solution to a problem or just do something entirely different and quirky. And third, it should just be fun. I don't wanna find myself raging at the thing. It should be an easy, seamless experience that leaves me filled with joy. With that in mind, let's begin the countdown. Coming in at number five is the Guitar Triller. It's a fairly heavy piece of plastic, fits nicely in the hand, and you bounce it off of your guitar strings much in the same way that you would bounce a drumstick off of a drum head. This gives you a percussive-y, trilly sound, unlike anything else that you could get using traditional techniques. Check it out. It does what it's meant to do. It's simple, it's fun, it's easy. Checks off all my boxes. And by the way, I'll put up links for these things in the description in case you wanna add them to your Christmas wish list, or if you wanna just buy it for yourself to temporarily alleviate the existential dread that the last couple of years have left us all with. And as promised, here's my best effort to rock out with this thing. Next up, we have the fourth best gimmicky guitar gadget, the Picasso Guitar Bow. Throughout the series, I've come across a number of products that claim to make your guitar sound like a violin. The Piranha Bow is one of them. I found it came up a bit short. The Gizmotron is another, which I found to be kind of loud and clunky. The Jellyfish Pick is another that I really quite hate and don't really feel like talking about today. The Ebo is actually Pretty great, works really well. It uses some sort of crazy magnet magic, but ultimately I feel like it's maybe a little bit too mainstream to be considered a gimmicky guitar gadget. Which leaves us with the Picasso Guitar Bow, which actually does make your guitar sound and play like a violin, at least as much as a gimmicky guitar gadget conceivably could. It's easy enough to use. You rosin up the bow, rub it against the strings, and very quickly you can start making some pretty cool sounds. Check it out. It does have its limitations. It's tough to jump between strings. You can't really do long drawn out notes and it only works on an acoustic guitar. But if you wanted to perfectly replicate a violin, then you should have just asked your parents for violin lessons instead of guitar lessons. Here's how it sounds in a hair metal ballady type thing. Coming in in 
third place position, we have the harp ad. Another thing that a lot of products claim to do is make your six string guitar sound like a 12 string. The harp ad literally turns your six string into a 12 string. It's easy as can be, you put the harness around the strap button, lay the harp ad on the neck, and secure it with a capo. Before, my guitar would have sounded like this. And now, it sounds like this. It's jingly jangly, 12 strings of joy without actually having to go and buy another guitar. The biggest downside that I can see with this is that they're currently unavailable. It says on their website that there's a wait list. However, also on their website, they feature yours truly. I'm quoted as saying, I really love harp ad. In seconds, I can change the sound. Text, 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 text. I really love harp ad. In seconds, I can change the sound. Text, 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 text. This does sound like something I would say, and it nicely sums up my feelings. Here's this thing in a prog rock setting. Text, 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 text. <laughs> Coming in at number two is the Passerelle Bridge, which is designed and I guess the company is also owned by the exceptional fingerstyle guitarist, Khaki King. You slide it under your strings to one of the frets and it lifts everything up, tune it to some sort of open tuning, and you essentially have a Japanese Kodo style instrument. And with this, you can do weird bendy type things. If you're playing on an acoustic, you can pick notes on either side. It's pretty cool, check it out. <laughs> I am just such a huge fan of this thing. It completely changes the way that I conceptualize the instrument and gives me an entirely new set of sounds to play with. When I'm using it, I feel like I'm in an entirely new musical place. It's handmade and it feels like it's built to last, which is reflected in the price, but sometimes that's just the way that she goes. I'm gonna put on my electric and see what I can do with this over top of a Southern rock style track. Finally, the best gimmicky guitar gadget as voted on by your old pal, Sammy G, the Cordonero Capo. Okay, imagine this wonderful scenario. You are a guitar player and you have 10 fingers on your fretting hand. Now this may have some health implications and you will probably get some strange looks, but think of the crazy chords that you can play. Well, my friend, the Cordonero Capo essentially provides you with this experience without the potential health implications or the strange looks. This part attaches like a typical capo would, but then you can slide in these fingers to press down whatever chord shape or whatever you want. I've got mine set up to be pressing down an E6 and using these open strings, I can come up with some totally weird chords. For example, I would never have stumbled across this chord had it not been for the chord and arrow, and I quite like it. Unlike open tunings, you don't need to rethink the layout of the instrument, so instantly you can start coming up with unique and great sounding things. What stands out to me about the Cordonero over all the other gadgets is really what a powerful tool this actually is. Every time I put this on, I discover sounds that are completely different from the last time that I played with it. It's conceivable to me that there are guitar players out there who would use the Cordonero every time they play their instrument, which is something I don't think I can say about any other guitar gadget. So for those reasons, I give the Cordonero the distinguished the prestigious honor of being Sammy G's best gimmicky guitar gadget. To celebrate this wonderful gizmo, I'm gonna play some pirate rock with it.
Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. After years of collecting this stuff, these are the best gaming key guitar gadgets. Remember, check out the sponsor of today's video, Tadario, who, while known for their strings, are just about to release their brand new pedal board, the Expand. I'm a big fan of this thing. It's innovative, it's well-built. If you'd like to find more information about this, check out the link in the description. Thank you all for watching. If you wanna check out another video like this one, hit that link up there. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay tuned to a wide range of musical content. Till next time, look after yourselves, look after each other, look after the planet. I'm Samurai Guitarist, and I'll see you again soon.